Hello, so this is called Dynamap. It's a plugin for Minecraft that lets you look at like a live version of the map so you can see players moving around on it. Uh, you've probably seen this before in the, the bucket server plugins directory, but I thought it was like probably one of the coolest mapping programs I've seen and you can change it from like low res to high res and you can switch which texture pack you use and since I have my custom one I didn't want my buildings to look stupid, which you think, oh, map, you can't see buildings, but this thing gets pretty detailed, so let me just kind of show you what's going on here. There's, like, icons. I know it's really hard to see because it's so small, but let me just zoom in here. So this is the uh, town of Rowan that you've seen before. And you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can click and hold your mouse wheel to sort of pan. I think you can just click the, yeah, you can just click the single one, or you can use these buttons to zoom in and out if you don't have a mouse wheel or if you're on a laptop or something. Uh, so here's the town. You can get even closer. I mean, I think this is as close as I can get. There's some levels you can adjust so you can zoom in, but this gets you pretty close. And you can see I'm using the textures from my texture pack. You can set up what the default texture it, it renders it with. Uh, I've added these icons, so this one is like a little tower, it says Rowan Keep on it. This one's like a uh, gold coin stack, it says Rowan Market, and then I've got like a little wine glass for the end of the Scarlet Sun. I've got the church of Rowan, I've got a little church, it's like a little house with the cross on top for the icon. There's just an open door icon uh, It says Westgate. I wanted people to be able to look at this map if they're playing in the game and be able to just go where they need to go. Unfortunately, I can't. Can I? No, not really. I was going to say, unfortunately, I can't move around in game and show you how my guy moves, but that's where I'm standing right now. Uh, there is... Another view you can look at where you can do like isometric, which I think is way more impressive because now you've got this and I think, yeah, you can zoom in even tighter on the isometric view. And so it looks almost like what you would see if you were in the game just kind of flying around. It's just amazing and it, it renders really quick. It doesn't seem to have much of a load on the server. So I really like this plugin. It's pretty cool and then you've got this up here so you can turn on or off you like you could turn the markers on and off you could turn homes which you can't really see in this view but you could turn the players on and off and then uh, the one other thing that I currently have off is they have plugins for this plugin uh, you can get one for factions you can get one for uh, essentials you can get one for townie, and that's what this is. You turn that on, and it shows you the perimeter of your town. So this is the town of Rowan, how it is. If I go back to this view, you can kind of see I've captured all these chunks. And these ones on the, the outskirts are set up, so they like are the wilds, which so they'll like rebuild. If you chop down trees, the trees will grow back, that kind of stuff. I may increase the size of this town and, and just make it kind of this huge block because I don't want people grooming all the trees out here and then having this kind of ugly forest look. So, But uh, you can see where spawn is in relationship. This is the little spawn icon there. Uh, down here, this is a settlement that the game rendered. Switch over so you can kind of see you know, all their standard little NPC town. And then this is Fourth Wind down here. They've got an icon for a lighthouse, so I tagged the lighthouse. Uh, they have a icon for minecarts, so I have Fourth Wind Mine, which is out here. They have like a mansion one, so I put Mayor's House. They have an anchor, so I have the fourth one docks. It's kind of neat. You just the command for that. There's like a little uh, pickaxe thing for arms and army. I think it's a pickaxe. It might be a hammer or something. I don't know. But 
<clears throat> to use these, you just type slash D marker and then uh, space and then add. I can show you in the game. I can add one, but <clears throat> excuse me. But you do uh, slash D marker space add and then space and then the name of what when you hover over it what it should say and you have to unfortunately do underscore you can't do spaces or it gets stupid and doesn't know it just uses the first word and then kind of crashes and then you can do icon colon and then the name of the icon and if you go to their wiki page you can find the names of all of them but they're pretty self-explanatory like the church is called church and the um, the market one I think is just called coins and then this one's called like wine I believe that's probably pickaxe, anchor, you know, like I said, mansion. They're pretty self explanatory. But so there's a the little town of Rowan. There's a the castle from, oh man, I never remember his name. Well, you'll see it. If you go to the Fourth Wind update on my YouTube channel, you'll find. I give this guy full credit for this. It's it's a really cool castle. I wish you could rotate the ISO view. I know you could set up to where you could have different views, and then it tells you which direction you're looking at. In fact, I think they're already created the the profile for that. You just have to enable the button, and I didn't. And it's it's a little tricky. There used to be one where you can see caves as well, but I didn't want people to be able to know where like all the caves are, and then just you know look at this map, go oh there's a cave, and then just go. Right now they have other ones so you can look at the nether, which apparently nobody's explored. Uh, this is the isometric view of it. Then I've got the end, which I find odd because I don't think anyone's explored this either, but yet it looks like somebody has explored it. And then they have a isometric view of the end, which has all these towers with fires on top. And uh, there should be some with like ender eyes, but I don't see any. This over here, this is some other thing. It's kind of a glitch where if you haven't rendered the map, it the scale will, will get off. Because I think this is the scale of the low res one. Like this is as close as you could get. And then this is the scale of the high res one. So you can get a lot closer. And until somebody goes in here and... and moves through this area or I do a full map render again you can just type in like uh, what was it uh, dynamap render all or something like that and it'll render the world again and then the nice thing here too is if you click on this guy the little face kind of highlights your character and now if I'm in the game moving around it'll just track me so it's so handy to have like if you're not playing full screen in Minecraft or if you have two monitors or something and you can somehow get them both to work you can have your guy moving around in the game and then have the map up on the side over here to see where you're going and it's just it's really cool I really like this plugin and I just wanted to kind of give it a little shout out and uh, I'll put a link to the bucket uh, site with this plugin and there's too many other little plugins for it you know with like the the towns and factions and essentials and all that kind of stuff so you pretty much just do like a dyn dash search and it should give you all of them they'll, they'll show up there may be some others you may just have to kind of like just try searching for like uh, dynamap whatever you know notice how the i, I panned over and then it snaps back. That's because it's trying to center on my guy. So, and then before I go up, up here too, you can see currently it's nighttime. There's the moon and there's the clock. All this stuff you can turn on and off. Uh, this tells you what the coordinates are for the location. I got rid of the the depth one, which should be Z, but I think the way Minecraft does it is like X and Z are this way and this way, and then like Y is up and down. So. It's kind of weird. It's almost when you're looking at the coordinate system, it'd be like you're looking flat at it because typically X is your left and right, Y is your up and down, and then Z would be in space, you know, uh, elevation. But uh, I don't know how they have it set up here. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later.